What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another Diecast model review. Today we are looking at the Unimax Forces of Valor uh, Apache Longbow uh, model. Um, Forces of Valor I think is also a great uh, line for Diecast uh, models. They make all uh, different scales, 172, uh, 1 in 100, uh, even bigger, I think like 1 in uh, 42 or 32, I forget what's bigger than 172, which which is the next jump up. Uh, but anyway, they make uh, great models and all of them come with lots of articulation, lots of uh, little special features, stuff like that. Um, so if you see on my channel, I've reviewed the Forces of Valor F-22 Raptor, which was a great uh, model kit. Uh, so I wanted to get the uh, two more in the 172 scale, the helicopters that they offer. Um, this, obviously, the Apache Longbow, as well as the Marine Corps Cobra, which I think is uh, AH-1Z uh, Venom. Am I saying that right? I could be wrong, though. Um, but the Marine Corps uh, updated Cobra. Um, I bought that one as well. It's on its way um, from Canada because, again, like the Itolari stuff that I review, Forces of Valor is now a defunct line, so it's very hard to find. Uh, you know models still in their packaging even used uh, you know with no packaging so anyway let's take a look at the figure first the box um, again forces of valor it's showing you the different models uh, that you can get these are all obviously pre-built pre-painted so you get a 172 scale Blackhawk uh, looks like whatever that is M26 dragon wagon looks cool um, they also do ships which is very cool uh, if you collect uh, you know naval ships there's a Blackhawk there, so lots of cool stuff. This does get screwed into the box, so you'll need a screwdriver to take the model out of the box. Um, the insides of it are thrown away now, so just beware of that. And then finally, you get a stand. This is my biggest negative with this set, is this little plastic flimsy stand. I already had to re-record this video twice because as I started in this point, uh, of the video pointing out how crappy this stand is every time uh, this would f fall right off the stand. Uh, so I'm going to try not to move it this time on, in this uh, take here. Uh, but anyway, it's it's real flimsy, um, so be very careful. I'm probably not going to use the stand. I'm just going to display it on its wheels so it doesn't fly off my shelf. So let's take a look at the model itself. For some reason, this was mint and card, but it's real dusty inside the box, so I got a lot of dust on it. But again, uh, Forces of Valor, Unimax, they do a great job with detailing. Um, there's lots of great detail. I love that they actually put two pilots in there. That's something you don't see in a lot of these models. Almost every die-cast 172 model, it's just an empty cockpit. So it's very cool that it's kind of a you know action pose with you know the two pilots in there, which is very cool. There's lots of cool articulation. Like for example, I believe this is the uh, you know infrared and the sensors. This thing, if I can set my camera down and hold this here, this actually articulates side to side. So that's very cool. So you can have it like it's, you know, searching for targets, which is very cool. The, um, the gun on the bottom actually articulates too. You can pull it out, pull it down. Hopefully this is showing up on the camera. And you can move it uh, side to side which is very cool, and then you can stow it back up, you know, like so. So again, very cool. The other cool thing is that uh, this is more for, you know, I guess mechanical buffs. It wasn't a big action feature for me, but um, the engine compartment, you can actually open it up on each side to reveal the uh, engine. So that's very cool. So like I said, there's lots of cool little uh, articulation points. Um, in the model itself, so I think that's very cool. Again, the uh, propeller, uh, the fan blades, they spin, both of them do, so that's very cool. Um, this one, the missiles are fixed, so it has, I believe these are Hellfire missiles, and then these are just unguided rockets um, in these tubes here, but these are attached. The uh, Marine Corps Cobra that's coming in, you can actually detach the missiles off the pylons in that model. So I'm really excited for that one because I love uh, I love that uh, Marine Corps Cobra. I believe it's a Viper, AH-1Z. Uh, I think that's the, the actual name is a Viper. 
Um, I could be wrong, though. So I'm really excited for that one. Anyway, um, so again, just seeing all the great detail. I love that there's two pilots in there. You have the uh, cool, uh, you know, shark mouth on the bottom there. Um, the big radar dome obviously signifies that this is a longbow version. So that's very cool. Um, again, looking at the back, you can see the exhaust. Um, the paint's really nicely done. All the uh, detail, you can see all the different rivets and bolts all over. Um, all over the uh, helicopter. See there it says United States Army. So we have American flag on the side there. Very cool. Um, kind of buried right there is the little uh, light you can see, which is cool. And then again, taking a look at the uh, other side, you have more, uh, you know, just designations on the helicopter itself. Again, this engine compartment opens up, which is very cool. Um, so again, I think this is a great model. I really love the Forces of Valor line. Um, for helicopters, a 172 scale helicopter is not bad because you can see here, again, this is the scale I like. This is kind of like a six to seven inch, um, you know, manageable model. So this will go easily on a shelf. It's not too big. Obviously, 172 helicopters are, you know, smaller than uh, aircraft. So I think for helicopters, uh, 172 scale is perfect. For jets or aircraft, I like more of the 1 in 100 scale. Uh, so again, if I had to rate this, I would give the actual model itself a 5 out of 5, just because I love all the features that you can open up everything, the gun moves around, uh, the paint's good, it has two pilots in there, which is awesome. Uh, but as a whole, I would give it a 4 out of 5, I would knock it just because of this stupid stand. Um, it sucks, but again, the model's great. So definitely worth the money. Again, this is a defunct line, so these are gonna be hard to find. Um, I had a hard time finding this and the, uh, the Cobra that I'm getting. The Cobra is really hard to find. In fact, if you go on to Amazon right now, uh, some people on Amazon are asking $200 for the, uh, the Marine Corps Cobra, which is ridiculous. I picked this up for about $40 plus shipping. Kind of pricey, some would say, but I'm glad I got it. Uh, because now I can throw away some of my other uh, 172 scale helicopters and replace uh, those with this and the Cobra that's coming. So again, definitely recommend it. These are kind of hard to find now that the line is dead. Um, so stay tuned uh, for my next review, my next Forces of Valor review. That'll be next week uh, as soon as I get that uh, Cobra. I'm actually a lot more excited about the Cobra than I am this just because I like the look of that helicopter more. And I like the fact that the missiles and everything will detach, which is very cool. So again, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Bye.